What's going on? Move the mouse here, back in City Skylines. Let's play Season 9, Episode number 21. And let's be honest, in the last episode I made a mess. And uh, I'm trying to kind of come in here and clean some stuff up. I wanted to take a look at the city at night, because that kind of gives us an idea, I, I think, a better idea of kind of where stuff is and isn't, and what we need to fill in. And um, I extended this down here thinking that maybe we could, I don't know, come come down to low density residential way out here on the end or maybe have another little industrial pocket out here in the waterway um not 100 sure but i'm i'm just gonna let it play at night in uh in today's episode just so we can kind of get a look around i've got a ton of demand for industrial and commercial that just will not quit every time i build a new zone it's the thing that builds up next so maybe we can make this a little commercial pocket and i started as you can see, getting some smaller, lower density stuff in there. I'm going to leave that block with a hospital completely untouched. Maybe do some stuff over here across the way. And we've got commercial demand, so that should fill out pretty quick. I think maybe this strip, rather than have people live on the water down here. And, and because of the balance of the demand that we have, then, uh, then we might want to do a little bit more commercial along this piece here and maybe up middle avenues like this you know little pieces like that let's break out the selection tool we'll give a little bit of a buffer zone there just a little bit let's uh yeah let's do that auto save so i i feel like i do what I did in the last episode a lot, um, which is towards the end of the build, I just, I, I like to have everything on the palette, which is why I drop all those uniques in. I like to see them in the city. I kind of like to see them next to other buildings uh, and, and then, you know, get a fresh perspective on it and decide kind of where do I want to drop these things in? You know, some of them are pretty massive. Uh, this stadium, we had a little bit of a backup. It's uh, It's actually better than it was, but what was happening is... A bunch of cars were stopping right here on this road to get out and become pedestrians and cross the street and go to the stadium over there. So all I did was I moved the stadium onto this one-way street. and the Same problem's kind of happening, but at least now they're almost getting off the street before before causing a backup. It's tough, right? We, we would like to force lane changes and things like that. Uh, you know, if you're going straight at this intersection... Don't be in the right lane. It looks like most of the traffic is heading that way anyways, so... We just get this little bit of a backup where it starts to slow the roundabout down, but but it isn't, it isn't impacting it overall. Where are we at traffic-wise? 80%. You know, we've got those problem spots kind of in the center of every major area. So, you know, we have, we have intersections that we could fix and clean up and do some stuff too. A lot of traffic coming towards that intersection. But all in all, I I mean, I, I like most of this build, but I do get into that trap. Let's do some cinematic camera, city at night. I do get into that trap of, you know, wanting to unlock the monuments and dumping everything into the map. And it's not always appropriate, certainly not aesthetically when it comes to the build. So that guy turning around sure is. That's why I put that there. Um, <laughs> Nice driving. But I think in my next Let's Play, I want to be a little bit more careful to expand just based on aesthetics. So stay tuned in the next couple weeks. I'm shooting for June 21st, which is officially the first day of summer, correct? Am I, am I getting my equinoxes and solstices mixed up? Um, but I think it's the 21st. First day of summer. Let's, let's shoot for that. It's a Sunday, and I thought maybe we could premiere... Um, but it'll be good to kind of kick off a, uh, a new season of the Let's Play and really try and think about the aesthetics first and foremost, or second maybe, because next season's all about Green Cities DLC also. So we're going to try and make the greenest city you've ever seen, at least as far as this channel's concerned. We'll try and pollute as little as possible as the sun's starting to come up. Am I on three times speed? Let's go on three times speed. Watch the sunrise over our city. I think it comes up over that way. It looks like it's there's less stars out, which means where's the moon? Is the moon set? 
it's going it's getting there so like all this over here for example this is all just kind of thrown in here we don't need all this stuff like this doesn't this doesn't necessarily fit so i think we'll break some of that some of this was just to drop in a couple of the monuments things like the eden project are really nice let's see how that's doing for our pollution doing really well if you remember when we dropped it in this area was a lot worse and this is some of the most polluting buildings in the game oh um yeah these are some of the most polluting buildings in the game which we don't need anymore these are these are coal power plants right so let's do that let's get our grid reconnected does it even need to be it doesn't need to be that's not disconnecting anything so that's totally fine um, and now we can get some more industry in there and then we can pan our camera over real quick because it's gonna be it's gonna be morning any second So, yeah, just skyline-wise, right? Like, pretend this isn't here. Let's look. Let's look over our suburbs for the sunrise. Let's try and get a nice shot here. And if we want to do the, the rule of thirds, right, you kind of want to... You don't want to have the horizon right in the middle. You want to have it there where the focus is, is the city, or you want to have it up there where the focus is the sky. But I think in this case, making the focus our city, just generally better looking frame I don't know you those of you that are into photography probably know what I'm talking about otherwise just pretend the last 20 seconds didn't exist sunrise over our city of Swamp Scott and an auto save of course to ruin it let's um let's go back in and make it really bright where is is it gameplay it's gameplay use day night cycle off all right 12 o'clock High noon, no shadows, very little shadows. Um, I saw, yeah, over here we had a little problem. You know, and the continuing maintenance of the city. Try and keep an eye out for stuff like this. But really, and I think I've mentioned this before, it's kind of it's kind of end game for Swamp Scott right now, and we've got to figure out what do we do with all this space. So we've got this over here. I think. I think this needs a, a drastic rethink because we have high density over here on the other side of the river and it just it doesn't need to be that way. So let's bulldoze everything with a huge brush. I don't think yeah, that won't bulldoze um, the park object. Which is okay, but does that does that even need to be here? Is that the spot for it? Probably not. We drop that in for, for what? Eden? Or for recycling plant, recycling plant, never mind. So I think, you know, we could definitely have some space over here. I mean, we, we've got the highway entrance. That was the big thing. That was the reason that I bought this tile was so that we could dump some more traffic to and from the highway into this side of the city without having to put everything on this intersection. That lightened it up a little bit. But this still is very problematic because it's it's the main throughway for everything coming in and there coming in and out of there off the two highways and also all the traffic that comes across this bridge through there same sort of thing so it's busy it's unavoidable and we weren't you know we weren't building swamp scott for 100 percent traffic um I i'm totally fine with you know a city like wood garden that was what were we around 70,000, 80,000 with uh 90 traffic you know and it, it wasn't doing anything that dramatically different I haven't changed my build style that much um, you know we know where the problem intersections are so let's let's pick a spot let's see what's going on over here did I not water over here oh my god okay sorry sorry about that um, let's get this sorted out and then let's see what we can clean up for a spot in our city. I want to try and let's do that. We'll cover this road for now. Do we have some houses starting to fill in? We do. Okay. And then I don't think I zoned over here. Right? I didn't zone back half of that block. So let's break the tree brush out. This is still all just temporary trees. Give us a little sound barrier, a little visual separation. 
and we'll mix in some other trees afterwards. This is just all a reminder for me. That's okay. That'll work. Uh, we have another water problem over here. Oh, so close, yet so far away and so thirsty. Um, might have a death wave starting, at least for all these people that we moved in. These are kind of really close to the water over here. We might think about key walling that. So, um, I th I think this is fine over here. I th I don't think this is too deep into the city. They do have to go quite a ways to get to a highway, but um, one of the next couple episodes is going to be once we've finished our framing, at least where roads are going to go. We're I think we're going to gut Metro and start from scratch. Um, one of the best things that we could probably do at this point to reduce some of the traffic. Uh, one other thing I did right before I started recording is I, I had this train line coming in from the outside and it ran past the, uh, the elder home. Gets a little close there, a little noisy. Comes across the river, hits this uh, under here, three-way split, can hit this cargo station. And then that same set of rails, which we do need to clean up a little bit, also connects over here to this train station slash metro hub. So train, tra train station on that side, this side's metro, and technically the people walk over, but uh, really all they'd seem to do is spawn cars and, uh, and walk. Okay, or, no, no, I take it back. There's some people there. How many people are on this train, though? Let's, let's take a look at this. Not a lot, I bet. 56 of 150. That's actually better than, than when I had previously looked. Um, I did little things like this. The uh, business arch. What is what is this thing called? City? No, not the city arch. City arch is the small one that goes over the road. Business park. So, drop that in over here just to fill in a little bit of space. A little, you know, odd sized building. It would be really nice, I think, if you could put this over uh, over highways, run highways through it. You, you can't without mods, unfortunately. The city arch is much smaller. Where is that one? I feel like I put that on the first, yeah, over here, on the first highway exit that we created. And you can see it's actually a, t a tourist spot, right? People like to come see this for whatever reason. Um, 24 visitors last week, 16 this week, or the other way around. I don't know. I, I looked at it really fast. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's still a lot of things that we can do. But today, let's let's see if we can round this out. See if we can fill this out a bit. I I started to explain. I I had that train track. I split one off of here. Tunneled it through just a little bit of this mountain. Mountain hill, whatever you want to call it. It's a hill, probably. Um, and then it comes back out over here. And stops at a commuter train station this way. But what I'm thinking is we carry that around or tunnel it under. Bring it over here and hook that up into the same spot. And then maybe we can get one more train station... Maybe way over here in this area. Let's do let's let's build a couple streets here. Let's let's round this area out so that we can fill it in with some some zoning, whatever we might need. So I think we'll just bring these out to wherever they kind of line up. A little bit of a little bit of overlap there. Let's not do that one, because that one's kind of a mess. Now, it doesn't matter as much over here towards the side of the map, but you'll notice, or, or maybe you do, I tend to snap towards 10, or 5, or 15, or 20. I stay on the fives and the tens because it creates a better separation of these nodes. I've mentioned it in other videos, but uh, if you create a road off of this road, it adds another node. It, it causes some weird lane change behavior. And if you delete this road, it doesn't delete that node. So sometimes you might need to recreate some of your roads and generally just snapping to 10 or 15 units of five or 10, basically, or none at all right there. Um, 
make it a little easier for traffic, but this far out on the edge of the grid, if somebody's doing funny lane changes way down here, it's not really going to impact anything. Uh, so here, let's do like a little loop. Something like that, just to kind of take up the space in the tip of this island. It doesn't have to be right on top of one another. Oh, I got a little, a little off of my bend there. Let's do that. So I think that could work. We don't necessarily need anything back here. This could be tree filler again. Because we don't want to go too close to every corner of our map. You also don't want to go too close with the trees either, though, because since you can't paint over the line, you still can get these funny lines of, uh, of trees that just kind of drop off the edge of your map. So, you know, find excuses to, to trail them off. But when you kind of look at it from here, it, you know, gives it a nice look, even though there's those clearings in the back. You don't necessarily see the hard edge that much, and especially when we do things like cinematic camera. Um, well, that that's just an overhead of a building shot, but in general, it makes things just look a little bit better. Um, clean up a couple of those trees that came across. We'll fill this in after we figure out what we're doing with all the zoning over here. Um, may not be bad to have, you know. I was say a little bit of industry over here, but we got to get another highway over here, or maybe tunnel this under and make this an exit. There's definitely some stuff we could do, but we want to think about that if we're going to create tunnels before we do the uh, the metro. Come on, stop it, stop it. Three times speed, that's burning way too slow. They'll be here, it should, it should be fine. This is fine. See, I told you. They're right, they're right around the corner. No time at all. Little bit of crisp, little bit of marshmallow. So as you can see, I, I just, I can't get enough commercial and, commercial and industrial zoning. So let's finish the rest of this off in Office Park, I guess. It's all grouped in there together anyways. We do have a fire over there. It should be... That also should be fine. Uh, paintbrush, right? That would be easier. So we got a little bit of office zoning. Do we... Yeah, we got a police station... Uh, police station. Fire station right there. Hoping? Hoping they're coming over? This one actually might be a problem. Hold on a second. Uh, what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do you, does anybody see a problem here? Because I do. I see a problem. There's no road connecting this road to any other road. Right? How did I do that? The, poli the fire department's never coming. Because there is not a road that connects here. I don't even know how people are in business. Let's do that. Let's connect this also. And let's fix our zoning before we unpause. Uh, small, fill, small. That's too, okay. So we'll dezone that. We'll get rid of these tiny little buildings there. Wow, okay. Uh, so can the fire department get there in time now? Let's see. Probably not. This one might be a spreader. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how buildings moved in. Um, I don't know how you thought a bucket of water was going to help. You're going to have to make a couple trips on this one. It's been going for a while. You're just, yeah, just don't, don't mind next door. Let's just, let's put a new business up. Brand new, open for business. Fallout 76 Superstore, Adam Shop. Um, sorry, that's a that's a that's kicking them while they're down. They haven't they haven't had a good 
couple years. So let's get back in here and look at zoning again. I think we can make this block a commercial block, a commercial success. Do a little pocket right there. That's got some buffer. Um, we didn't zone over here. So I'll just pad that out with a little bit more trees. <clears throat> but the city's getting there. And if we do little things like... Sorry, Cathedral. That just doesn't belong there. This, you know, this is too big. This is too big. Um, these are the right size for our city. They're just not in the right spot. So where, oh, where can we put them? So what we can do is we can look at happiness, leisure, free time, I guess. All right. That's the icon. Got, got some free time, do some uh, leisure activities. So where are our unique buildings, right? Look at this cluster over here. This was, this was just all dropped in to kind of fill that stuff in. Um, you know, we've got some parks. we got some stuff on the main street. That makes sense. we got a couple things over here. A couple little plazas spread out. Looks like this is my plaza area. So what can we do over here? Let's, let's take a look at this zone first and consider what's here. So residential. We've got a commercial square kind of in the center in Watkins. Everything else is kind of mixed. Office creating, you know, padded zoning to shelter the residents from the noise. So I think we should target right here in Watkins Square to put one of those buildings, right? Although then again, they're doing, they're doing all right over there. Maybe something over here. They won't, they won't necessarily like the noise, but, but what do we have? We don't have like a park or anything. We've used those up already. Maybe we just do a regular a regular park right we don't have any on the uniques that we haven't used yet right I think I deleted quite a few of them so burn Beehaven climate research station we'll find a spot for that I still where is it I still haven't hooked up this airport dropped it in left it sitting there that'll probably help our tourism and uh, finances a bit if I uh Stop messing around and do some building. I that's right, I broke the aviation club. So yeah, let's let's get let's get something over here in the form of parks. I think that would be okay. That's a big one. So can we move the school down? Will that fit? I think that's still gonna hit the train tracks. So train tracks first. We'll bring them. Uh, that's the wrong tab. We'll bring them out a bit before hooking them back in that way and like that. So it's still got a relatively natural curve. It's still kind of on the edge of this cliff. Well, not cliff, but this hill, this mound. And that should give us enough room to do two things one let's put the kids all the way down by the train tracks is that enough was that enough room that might not have been enough room oh oh yeah it was it was enough room. can we go that way can we orient that way is it a square it's not okay slightly off So that helps out a little bit. Let's uh, let's three times speed, info views, entertainment. Yeah, see that lights up that area quite a bit. You got to give them fun things to do, even if it's just getting outside in the park. Um, technically, I mean that may be one of the the most fun things you can do right now. Um, IRL that is. Hopefully you're staying safe, whatever uh, whatever you're up to. Uh, back into parks. And small park gives us a little bit more room to play with. We don't have to annihilate entire blocks of our city. But, you know, we could throw something like right there. 
gonna break our power lines but that might spread power to the park which spreads power to the whoops to the buildings I think no almost very very close so let's do that and then let's jump in one more park somewhere let's do the dog park I think that's over here Perfect. Will that fit anywhere on this block? Like, right smack between the high school and the... Where do we need it, though? We need it over here, on this side. So let's make sure that bubble... Yeah, that bubble's covering everybody over here. Hopefully that will help. That one's pretty good. And then, what do we have over this way? Can we do a, what, a Zen Garden? Is that what we did over here already? Just did a Paradox Plaza. So let's see, where can we squeeze a, a Zen Garden in? Perfect. So just a little bit of uh, placement of... Does that not activate as a... As a, as a park? Why does that have such a small area of effect? Let's get another dog park in over here then. We'll do that. We'll let them build back in if they want to. But now we're, you know, we're making people happy, at least over here. They're happy from a, uh, you guys can, you guys can walk. Come on. That's not, that's a, a block away. If we count 10 units as a block, it's three blocks away. It's not that far. It's not even 30 blocks away. It's ridiculous. Come on. Uh, 30 units. If it was 30 blocks, then you'd have something to complain about. But people are happier over there, which is good. We've cleared this spot out, and I'll, I'll just kind of... I won't build all this up on the episode today, but I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking. One, we want to have our intersection somewhere in the middle, so it's not... I mean, if it was closer to the bridge, it doesn't matter. Because that's not an intersection, right? But we don't want it too close to the highway. But we also want it kind of, you know, in the middle of this area that we're about to start supporting. Um, I regret potentially not buying that tile, but maybe we can... Snake a road under here. I get ahead of myself. Let's do this. Let's kind of let's come down to the coast first, and let's do a little coastal road. And I think I'd kind of done this before, but we could do something like that. Get that connected up in the middle. Or maybe doing something like that. A little bit of a curve. And then we can kind of bend this around the same way that the other the other roads are. But we don't have to, you know, again, we don't have to keep things too tight over here. It can get a little crazy and, you know, we can have a road that just bends out like that. Maybe this connects through. And... Sure, this can connect too. Maybe we have like a little a little triangle there for no good reason. Do something like that and then maybe we can carry that on up by the highway. You know, as we get away from the bigger downtown areas and over here, we certainly can get away from the grid. It, it helps it helps the aesthetic appeal quite a bit. Just apply those same kind of those same kind of principles to managing traffic through here. You know, don't put the intersections too close together like that unless they're off to the edge of, you know, a road network and then it probably won't matter too much. And really, for an area this large, it is a little, a little loose, right? Loose here and there is okay, but you wouldn't, I don't know, you probably wouldn't see this drastic of a, uh, maybe you would, depends on, depends on when it was built. But that's pretty good. I think what we can do here is, again, 
just in case we use it, I don't think we will. We won't fill in that uh, that farmland, but we're not gonna we're not gonna use it. We're not gonna build a farm that close to the edge of the map. But I think that looks okay, right? There's a there's a reason why we stopped building there. If we take the lines off, you know, where's the edge of our city? It's not it's not that obvious. And when you when you buy uh, wrong one, when you buy crooked areas like this, right? Well, yeah, that kind of, sure, that looks like the edge of my city, but then that kind of gives you the illusion because we're building way over here that, you know, maybe it wasn't. It just, it stopped in the woods for a reason. This thing's pretty, oh, wow. I was going to say, this thing's pretty dry, but it's, it is the definition of dry. It's a pile of dirt. Doesn't look like there's a single drop of water in there. So maybe we'll turn this on until we forget about it. And let that fill. Somebody actually mentioned an interesting point in the comments, which is um, if we go over to land value. Oh, it's all it's all 100% green now, thanks to um, Eden Project. But um, land value went down over here, and, and somebody commented that, that maybe it's because they didn't have waterfront property anymore. They did, and then when I turned this off and it started to dry up, that's when they started to complain. So that very well could have been the case. You might be able to make your own high-value waterfront property just by dumping excess water into the ground just don't forget to turn it off every once in a while when it fills up one of the things that i definitely want to do and i think i started to do this so we go into water structures uh water structures there we go i've got all my sewage over here it looks like i've got to put the the water intakes down here because it just i don't i don't know i'm not a fan of them Tying up all this space in the shoreline. Maybe we could even. Maybe we could even just kind of put them on the edge of our town. So if we go into landscaping and water structures, key walls, freeform. Do a little key wall over here. At least to under the bridge. I think that's okay. Um, we could try and smooth this out a bit, but but that also is all right. I think it'll be okay. But now we could, if we don't want to hide them under underwater, we could at least move them off the shoreline. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, I think, if I counted right. So let's get a row of these up above. You can snap them to the key walls. I like to hide them, but in this case we'll try something a little different and just at least put them off the edge of our map. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it was ten. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, Eleven to get us maybe in line with what's happening with our uh, sewage treatment. Because that's a little bit more in the green. A little bit better capacity. A little bit better capacity than what we're doing with, um, with the water intake at least right now. So that's all connected. Did we water over here? We sure did. I'm not coming through here with a bunch of organized pipes. I'm just gonna, just gonna spam over where I need to. Now, what I was thinking we could do is, it'll require a little bit of modification, but maybe raise this highway up just a little bit, and then have, you know, an underpass underneath it to bring traffic along the shoreline, and maybe have another neighborhood here, or here even, or over here, or over here. And have that connect over into the other neighborhoods with, you know, underpasses or overpasses coming from the highway, connecting them in that way. But I think it would make sense to fill in some of that central area of the river. But, but we won't go overboard there. We're going to do really sparse, you know, more. Well, I was going to say more like down here, but this is starting to fill up a lot. Uh, three times speed. Let's let it play for a minute. Let's see where things are at. 
Uh, let's come over here and get a little bit of zoning done. Uh, oh, did I never... Did I never connect this in? So... Let's actually rethink this then. So I think this road will be our... Entrance and exit into that area. Whoop. Good to take a step back and look at your city every once in a while. <laughs> uh, so this just needs to connect to there for now. You can't build on water. I'm not asking you to build on water. I'm asking you to connect from the one that's already... Connect from the one that's already there. Alright, so that should fix that power problem. I think we're going to have a water problem until we get some power spread over this way. So let's... Let's fix that in the short term. <clears throat> and let's see what that did to power and water availability. So, yeah, that got the water kind of right in line with where sewage is at. So that's pretty good. That works, and it's not, you know... It's not necessarily pretty. It's not it's not that imposing, and I feel like as we kind of look down the river here, that might even get a space for another neighborhood or two, because those things do make noise, and people don't want to be right on top of them. How's our little fishing boats doing? Um, somebody mentioned that, you know, the this if we pause, this was a while back in the comments, but I, I wanted to touch on this. This thing's full of fish, and I have it going all the way down over here and returning, right? And people are like, oh, you only need, like, you know, 20 feet. We could go to that bridge and come back. But a bunch of fishing boats just looping in this little area that you see on screen doesn't look the part. And that's one of the best things about Sunset Harbor, making the water, the airways feel alive. Um, sometimes it's enough helicopters on a transport line to black out the sun. Other times it's, you know, some fishing boats bopping around your river. But whatever it is, like, I, th I think it adds a nice touch, right? It, you know, if you're just cruising by here on a cinematic and you see that, you know, those boats driving around, it's a lot better to see them, you know, kind of doing their thing rather than, you know, driving 10 feet and, and looping back. So do keep that in mind. If you want them to be efficient, turn them around almost immediately. They fill up really fast, especially if you're fishing in the appropriate body of water. Uh, if you remember, and you may not because you haven't messed with it, there's a general fishing harbor, but then there's also harbors that are specific to anchovies, salmon, shrimp, or shellfish, and tuna. So you can you can make these boats more effective if they're fishing the thing that they're supposed to fish because that's what's in the water. Um, so yeah, you can make them really efficient. They can drive 10 feet and come back, but it just doesn't look the part. So you have to weigh aesthetics versus um, versus what you're doing uh, for efficiency's sake. But, man, we've got, there's just so much stuff to do, and I, I can't talk about it all. I'm going to try and grind a little bit offline and just kind of fill in the zones. Like, we've got all this space. We'd like to fill this in with a lot of residential. We just don't have that demand right now. Maybe we end up moving some people out. Uh, maybe we high-rise ban this, which will delete all these buildings, cause them all to build back up, but they'll also support less people and spread our population out a bit in the longer run. I don't know. There's I keep going into transport views because I want to because I want to go into that. Sometimes these episodes feel a lot less productive than maybe they are. I hope people are learning, entertained, educated, whatever it might be that you came here for. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to put out bad content, but sometimes when I put out a video like this, I think, you know, was that as valuable? I mean, it's it's a step in our city, but I fall into that trap every time of just, you know, wanting to unlock the milestones and stamp everything down and and, and making a mess in my city in the last, you know, the last third or a quarter of the build. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to clean it up. I'm trying to make sense of it all. I'm trying to spread things around the map a bit. Uh, but it's tough. And it's tough to do all this part of the build online. So this is where I start skipping around and doing stuff in the background. But hopefully you enjoyed either way. I, there's still a couple key projects that we got to work on. Um, maybe what I should do, I'm going to get out of the cinematic camera. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to throw it in just free camera. And I'm going to pause and I'm going to save it right here because this is where I need to focus next, I think. Let's get the airport connected. We're going to have to revamp 
this highway and maybe turn this into some sort of a new interchange. We might be able to kind of squeeze one in over here. If we get rid of this road for the garbage trucks. But we will we'll figure that out. Figure it out on the next episode. I'm going to save it so that when I load it, this is staring me right in the face and hopefully I will remember. But if the next episode is not about the Metropolitan Airport, then you'll know that I willingly saw this and chose to uh, chose to not do it. So I'm committing to it now. Let's do the Metropolitan Airport next. I think that's a great idea so we can see this thing actually in action. It's a lot bigger than the standard airport. It has technically the same number of runways, but the way that they crisscross the taxi runways is a lot more realistic. And, and how these are kind of spread out into different gates and wings. It's, you know, this is still not that big of an airport. Um, it's pretty small comparatively. And the, the parking is still very much, you know, what, what the city's devs think about parking. This is not North American parking. Um, there would be at least a hundred times this parking for an airport this small in the United States. But, uh, but that's beside the point. I'm, this is next Metropolitan Airport. Tune in for that. All right. So I saved it with the Metropolitan Airport in view. That will be what I see when I reload. So, um, yeah, next, next episode, Metropolitan Airport. Let's do it. Let's hook up that highway. Let's get it going. It is an important step in the final stages of our city. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, likes, comments, shares, they all help the channel and they are all so greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and consider hitting the bell to get updates on this and other series. Join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. If you've got, you know, questions, if you're getting stuck, lots of great, helpful people over there, fans of cities, fans of the channel, and we play on pretty much every platform across the board. So whatever you're playing on, if you've got questions, come on over there, we'd love to have you. If you'd like to support the channel, links to that and all those other things in the description down below. But until the next episode, when we'll probably build a metropolitan airport, but only time will tell. Until then, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.